Okay, hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Azuric Rise of Parathia. I just scrapped a 10 minute recording where... <laughs> okay, so last episode we got stuck in a maze, and uh, for incredibly bad reasons. And then I just scrapped a 10 minute recording of the start of this episode, because I got stuck again. You know how last episode I was talking about how um, it, once you get down it's very difficult to get back up? Well, we've got to get back up very soon, and uh, I just, I couldn't figure it out for ages, and I ended up just scrapping the whole thing. So, here's how we do it. We're going to place our three keys in. Uh, to let everybody know, last episode, basically, we decided we want our fourth power, and to get that, we have to go through the fire realm, which is much more linear, a progression of maps. Um, I, the, the ideal place I wanted to end the episode, actually, uh, last episode, was just after this. I wanted to put the keys in, turn on the tower, as you can see here, and look, this opens up that door I showed you all. I wanted to end last episode going through that door, but we ran out of time because I got stuck in the maze. So, we're starting here in instead. Really, it doesn't mean that much, except that just uh, it was a bit of a worse cliffhanger than it could have been. But what we're going to do is drop down onto this platform here. Here's how you get back up, okay? From that save point and from those keys. You drop down. We're just going to deal with this blaze sentinel and fire elemental. Don't forget, fire elementals, we don't actually have their weakness yet. So... They actually take ages for us to kill that blazon. I just messed up my combo, and now he's going to take another full one. But these guys are actually easy, which is really weird. Like, the, the, the first time you get to the area, the guys that look really big and intimidating are actually much easier to kill. And they're actually uh, much less dangerous, too, because the um, fire elementals like, move in a much better way, um, make them a lot harder to hit. So anyway, we've got another one of these rocks. Blue, yellow, red, that means it will be broken by the lightning power. I don't really remember what I said in that 10 minute recording now, or what I said on the previous episode, so I might start repeating myself, and apologies if I do. Here, look, uh, also, check it out, we've actually got 94 sapphires now. I told you guys that we'd get a perk at 100. I might miss it when we get to 100, so just keep your eye out when we do. And if I do miss it, it'll be a damn shame, but if uh, if not, then I'll point it out when I next realise. But yeah, we've got 94, we're very close to getting that perk, whatever that may be. Um, I believe what you're actually meant to, if I'd been getting every single gem, we would get that perk right about now. But here's how you get out, guys. You're going to drop down to this ledge, okay? The safe point's just up there. You drop down, take the first doorway to the right, and then instead of climbing up or going into any of those three up there, there's actually another exit way here. So easy to miss. So easy to miss. Man, I spent 10 minutes because you just sort of walk around in that area down below a lot. And there's nothing you can do down there. Um, there's one specific jump that it looks like you should be able to make. But the game just like trolls you and says, Nope, you're not allowed to do this. And you just like get totally stuck. So that totally, totally sucks. Anyway, here's one tactic as well that I should have been doing a lot more of while I've been playing. If you don't want to kill an enemy, but you just want to run past them. And you don't have access to a certain power that we'll get later. You can just use your B attack. It's a sweep AoE attack that instantly stuns them and knocks them back. One thing about this game is you can knock enemies off of ledges. Usually it means you won't get the pickup from them, but you can knock them off of ledges and, um, you know, reap the benefits of just walking by safely. Uh, so that is a big thing with this game, and I've just not been doing it at all. Uh, there's also the jump stun attack for a single target one that, that isn't so clunky. Like, the wind-up animation on the B attack is a lot longer, and it actually moves you a little bit too. Um, so it's a lot more clunky. Uh, I thought I saw another gem here, but apparently not. So it's a lot more clunky. Um, if you just got one enemy that you want to get past, you jump, slam down, and then you move on. Anyway, so here we go, guys. <clears throat> oh, no, not here we go. I've just gone the wrong way. We need to go up a level? The elevator is on this section of the tower, isn't it? If it's not on this section of the tower, then we just go into that room I was just at and then back up. Yeah, we do. All right, so not here we go. Not here we go, not just yet. We need to get one more level higher onto the tower. But as you'll see here, we're now in what I was describing as looking like the Earth Realm. The main reason why I'm saying this is because of these golems here. Um, these are the stone go uh, they're, they're Earth Shard Elementals, I believe. Earth Shard Monsters, I actually think is what they're called. And I believe they are weak. They're, they're not weak to lightning. They're actually immune to lightning, which is what I was attacking with, with them with. There's another power that looks a lot like lightning in this game, but it's called Smash. The Smash Power. We don't have access to that just yet, but the smash power is what these guys are weak to. This room's actually full of enemies. There's no obsidians or anything in here, so just get moving along. We don't have, like, a shield that would be good against them either, so just sort of take the brunt of the attacks. Uh, and then by coming into this section, you should recognise where we are. Actually, no, you won't, because we haven't walked on this section just yet. Um, but you can just sort of worm your way through this room and keep climbing up. This is where we last were. We came through this doorway, if you guys remember. So we're just going to continue back nice and high up. And this is going to get us pretty close to 
uh, the ex either the tower or the exit. I'm actually going to go to the exit to show you guys how to get back out of this realm and to take advantage of that save point there, um, just because. Hey. So what we're going to do is climb up, go through this doorway. This is to the top of that lava fall and the entrance of the maze that we got stuck in, if you remember. Um, but instead of going into the maze this time, I pointed out this doorway over here. That's where we're going to jump to. So we're going to use our air power. Air power is so good, guys. I love it. It's, oh, you do gain height as well. For people that have been like, oh, so you can't really fly, you just gain height. You do gain height. Uh, you, you, you just glide. You can't really gain height, but you just glide. You do gain height from using that. So, And there's a, there's a distinction, though. If you're falling really fast when you pop the second one, like the, the inertia will stop you from getting really very much height at all. But if you pop the, if you like double tap Y really quickly, you'll gain lots of height from it. And indeed, that's something you're going to want to do here because that's quite high up, right? That gem up there, though, is the save point and the entrance to the realm. So you double tap it. It's a really dodgy looking jump. And there we go. That's that ruby that you guys might have seen last episode. Might have been annoyed that I didn't pick it up. Don't worry. It was all a part of the Grandmaster plan. And there we go. Uh, we're now back at the start. That was the, the Guardian's Fortress is down there. And we've got our, um, the towns back over there. The cave of the town. Instead, I'm just going to turn right around the way I came. I'm going to uh, fly back over there, and we're going to go onto the tower. There's also an obsidian over there, um, which you need uh, different power to get to. So we'll deal with that later. Now, to get to the tower, quite simply, we're going to walk through this doorway in a very similar way to what we did at the start. If you remember, this is where the first key was, through this doorway. And so you can imagine if you skipped this, just went all the way to the bottom, or went down into that lava maze first, you have to climb all the way up to get the key to go back down to put the key in the receptacle, and then climb all the way back up to get to the tower like it's just a lot of backtracking that's unnecessary so we're gonna skip that right uh and the tower entrance i think we just keep worming our way around don't we and there we go there's the tower platform there and we could go one more floor up if we wanted but of course i've already shown you that there's nothing up there except um the smash power thing over there which we can't get to yeah because that 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 force field up there the smash power isn't just good oh is that the right way it's the wrong way isn't it the smash power isn't just good for taking out those uh rock shard monsters it's also good for taking out oh no that was the right way that was the right way it's also good for um traversing some barriers that you've got in the game but yeah, so this is where the seal was. Previously, this door was closed. Now it's open. We're about 10 minutes into a recording, so I guess maybe it was a good thing that I didn't try and force this out last time. We're going to walk through, and voila. We're now going to another region. It's the first section of the Fire Realm. The reason why I explain this as linear is because we're pretty much done with that area, except for a couple of obsidians, you know, just small miscellaneous things to go back and pick up. Now, there's this cool, like, vista here that you can look through. Doesn't that look pretty? Except that when you move the camera, you realise that's just a flat texture on a wall, like, two inches away from our face. Which is really weird. Like, it's very hard to believe that that's a tower off in the distance. But, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool anyway. We got another oracle, so let's see what he has to say. Find the keys to disable the force fields and to repair the platforms so you can restore power to the small generator. Find the passage to the water realm. Alright, so apparently there's a passage to a water realm here. A bunch of mis miscellaneous stuff that we need to complete that really isn't going to make much sense to you guys from the Oracle there. But it's always nice to hear his voice, just to hear the voice of another human being. Oh, it's, we're out in the depths of nowhere at the moment and just nobody's here. So this is uh, colloquially known as the uh, electric forest. There's actually an obsidian right at the start, which you're going to want to get. Be careful, obviously, not to go into that lava fort. I don't know whether it kills you, but hey, I wouldn't run the risk. Use your air power first to get to it, and then also B to get back, because again, that's quite a high jump. Double tap, and you can climb up. You don't want a rock shard monster knocking you off as well as you climb up. So it's probably a good idea to kill them before you come down. But hey, we're okay, we've got through. Right, um, I would also recommend saving after you've got that obsidian because this area can be quite annoying. Well, not annoying, it's just there's not many save points in this area. So uh, you, you, you're going to want to save or whatever you get and just save your bit of progress. There's one specific area where you've got to do a jump after a long, long area of the game. And uh, you're just going to want to have saved before that. Anyway, you can see there's a there's an area higher up. There's actually a key on that area up there. I want to point that out now so that when we finally get it, you'll have some perspective for where we're stood. Sorry, guys. I'm all bloated today because I haven't eaten any breakfast. Uh, so what we're going to do is just grab these rubies. And what am I doing here? The way to get through the electric forest. Now, like you could, in theory, come here earlier. But uh, you're going to have a really bad time if you haven't got your air power. 
because, well, actually, no, you couldn't even come here earlier because you need the air power to cross the bridge. This is the electric forest. If you go near any of those trees, they will start slamming lightning down on you. And this is where the lightning shield uh, is also useful, not just for traveling through barriers, but if there is any, you know, enemies that attack you with lightning or there's any of the, these um, trees like this, then you can use the, the shield to survive. Uh, obviously, you don't want to spend too long there and you don't want to be refreshing your shield too often, but yeah. Anyway, here's uh, a uh, teleporter platform. Now, if you feel really confident that you're not going to die the whole way through this zone, I would recommend killing those catalysts. I would recommend killing them. But uh, it might it's likely that you will die and those enemies are going to respawn anyway, so maybe just ignore them. I believe catalysts are weak to steam, and I haven't actually been using steam to fight them so far. Uh, but I will in future because there's a lot of catalysts in this area. Like, I love these blaze elementals. They're really useful. Actually, okay, let's have a look. Is it steam that they're weak to? Or was it one of the ones once we get our new power? Okay, he's just been attacked by that blaze elemental too. Blaze sentinel, sorry, not blaze elemental. Let's go another one. Basically, catalysts are really deadly because even if they're weak to the element, they still take two full combos to kill. Like, there are real pains in the backsides. Okay, it's definitely not... Yellow globes replenish your Didn't we already see that at some point? Maybe I died. Yeah, it's definitely not um, steam that they're weak to, so I'll just unenchant my axiom here so I'm not wasting elements. Yeah, I think it's... Um... Oh, no, it's lightning that they're weak to, isn't it? Yeah, it's lightning. That's what they're weak to. Yeah, lightning. Okay, right, good. Good stuff. Okay, yeah, I remember. Yeah, we do have the powers to take them out. Right, so catalysts are weak to lightning. Uh, and here's our second save point. It's actually not too far into the realm. But um, as I say, it is quite linear here. But uh, like this save point, we're going to be using quite a lot because we're going to sort of keep looping around this section. Just behind this wall that this save point is next to. I don't know whether I can zoom the camera out and perhaps show you guys. Just about. Can you see? You can see something shining just over that wall. That's actually our next power. We'll have a better glimpse at it in just a second. There's a key slot up there. Um, the way we're meant to go is to follow this pathway along, but I do just want to turn down here to point your attention at another little re region beyond this electric tree um, with some gems on it. Now, we're going to get to those gems in just a moment, okay? There's also an obsidian down there. Don't try to drop to it or get to it. You need um, a higher air power to be able to get to that one, so don't worry about that obsidian at all. It can be the source of some frustrations. And if you can help it, don't die. Like, because it's really useful to have this enemy, this area cleared of enemies. The more enemies you've killed here, if you ha if you don't die, it's just so useful. I like, I really like the, the feeling of vanquishing a full area in here. There's gonna, after we're done with the fire realm, there's gonna be another realm we go to. And like, you can quite easily kill all of the enemies there. It's just really nice. So we come to this cool room where all of these uh, pads are moving up and down in bizarre ways quite erratically. There's also some different things we can interact with in here. Uh, don't try and jump to those platforms, there's no point. That doorway there is closed at the moment and, and it won't open for a little while. So what we're going to do is just wait for this platform to come up. And it will keep coming up. But what we want to do is just very basically progress through this room and into that doorway down below at the moment. So we'll just wait for this to drop back down. Like so. And jump on through. So, uh, let's get our fire shield back, our ice shield back on, sorry, and pop out our water element. We're a proper water element to this here. If you guys will notice as well, the elements in this game, like, you're, you're basically a Guild Wars 2 elementalist. It's so cool. Like, it all matches up pretty much perfectly. Wow, so these are these guys. Um, there aren't too many of them in the game, but they're damn dangerous. You can attack them. You can kill them. They do have weaknesses, but in general, you're not going to want to fight them. They are called Lavalers. Um, and yeah, right now in this current region, we don't have to worry about that too much though, but there is a glimpse of one you can get just there. So we've got another, um, Blaze Sentinel to kill here, and a platform on the right hand side being suspended by electricity with a key. There's actually three keys and three receptacles for keys in this zone. You know where I showed you those gems just now, like that split in the path? If we'd gone down there, we would have found where we wanted to put the key in. Which I think, maybe I could have shown, because then it would have been kind of like, okay, we want the key, and then when you find the key, and you're like, ah, I know where to put that. Which is my experience of playing this game the first time, but uh, hey, whatever. So then there's also this, which isn't really doing anything, but does serve as a platform to get over here. Later, that's going to start moving. So right now, it serves as a plat platform to move here, but later, it will take us to somewhere completely different which is pretty cool uh, we got some uh, air crystals here do we have a hundred no we still only got 94 sapphires we definitely could have a hundred soon very soon 
haven't found any. I guess we're in the flame round, so there's not much opportunity. Get your lightning shield up if you want to get this, because otherwise, you know, the um, if you get struck by that lightning, it does have a knockback. So when when we're dealing with holes and stuff like this, yeah, it's not too pleasant. Gonna jump onto this. Moves very quickly. Be very careful with that one. Climb it right to the top and jump over. You actually got an obsidian here. One of the easier obsidians to get in the game, in my opinion. A bunch of uh, flame elementals. We never have to see them again, though. So I'm just gonna drop down to here. You can obviously use that to soften full damage as well. Yeah, there's so much cool stuff you can do with the uh, the air power. Right now we got another little bit of the electric forest just to pass through here. It's an interesting idea that they've got like all this electric stuff in the uh, fire realm, and we're still sort of in an area that we haven't seen yet. But over there, if we if we have a cheeky little jump, we're now in the area of the rubies I was pointing out earlier, and this time we've got a key. So this is sort of, basically the path backs up on itself. Um, let's grab this. I love these little temple areas as well. They're very cool. Yeah, so like if we look over here, if we'd come here early, we wouldn't have actually have been able to have jumped up there. And we wouldn't have had a key either. So, uh, yeah, there'd be little point in coming here. That's the obsidian just over there on the right. So we were on the plateau above this earlier. Hopefully you guys have still got some perspective for where we stood. Again, no maps for the game. So if you don't know where we are, then sort of tough. I'd love to see maps of specific zones, but also how all the realms connect as well. That'd be so cool. What an awesome idea that would be. Right, so we're, we're just going to keep progressing around the side here. I'm not going to use my uh, fire shield. Not for single blaze sentinels, because you can just stun lock them and get them get them dealt with. There's two up there. I will fire shield for those. One more sapphire. Only two more? Two more for a perk? There we go. There's our ice shield. We're running dangerously low on air element here. I've got a nice little combo there. There are combos you can do where basically... You um, you stop them getting stunned and going into the invulnerable state. And by doing that, like when there's multiple enemies, you can swap between to reset your thing. And then you can kill them much quicker. But there's a geezer up there. There are our final two sapphires here. So I'm going to try and get these. They're kind of irritating ones because they're in very dangerous looking areas. I think we can just make that with a regular jump. There we go. Look at our water element. I may replay that so you guys can see. Uh, getting 100 of a specific um, gem will increase the capacity you have for that element. So we're running out of air element right now. Once we've got 100 diamonds, we get more air. So you can see how these correspond to the elements that you've got. Uh, and it's very useful. As you get stronger water power, you're going to be consuming more water power. And so it's far more frustrating um, to run out, right? It's far more common. But as you play through, as long as you're continuing to collect the gems, then your capacity goes up at the same time. It's, it's really well done. It's like the perfect system. I never see a gem and think to myself, oh, no, I can't be bothered to go and get that. Well, unless it's really difficult, and there are some that I blatantly missed, but I know I'll be going back to those areas later. Like, it's just in that sweet spot where you don't feel terrible for missing one. But you're always motivated to get one if it's in plain sight. Like, the reason I'm killing these guys right now, instead of just running for that geezer, is so that I can get those emeralds. That's the only reason I'm doing it. And it's because it's worth it. You know, it's, it's kind of like a leveling up, you know, mechanic, like get more ammo or, you know, these... But it works. It just, it just works. It's just smart. And it was really intelligently designed. This game has got really intelligent design behind it. Really. But it's just missing a lot of other stuff that, you know, regular games need. And people were expecting that kind of stuff. You know, another launch title for the Xbox, Halo Combat Evolved. This game doesn't really compare graphically to that. I know we're talking about apples and oranges. One's a first-person game and one's a third-person action RPG. But still, you know, the Halo had a lot more going for it, a lot more voiceover, a lot higher production qualities. And a lot of games that were coming out for the Xbox original around that time did. But this game, the people that made it might have had some kind of budgetary issues. But my god, they had a lot going for them. They really did. Um, so we're going to have a little bit of trouble. Do you remember when we first reached this zone, guys? And I explained that there was a key on a high up ledge. Um, we're actually trying to get that key now. But we're running very low on fire elements. Which is quite ironic, considering we're in the fire realm. I think it also completely replenished our water element when we got that perk, which was very nice. Oh, oh no you don't. I mean, there's no reason to not have an ice shield right now. There we go, and you give me more water. Thank you very much for that. So, uh, over here, we've got another little bit of the electric forest. We've... <sighs> I'm thoroughly concerned about this, because how many shields are we going to really get here? One? Two? And the first one's broken already. Don't use the second just yet. Try and ignore the earth elementals as best you can. I'm going to hug this wall. I'm going to kill... Well, they're not called earth elementals. I'm going to kill this rock shard monster here. 
and I guess his friend as well since they're still chasing. I love their walk animation as well. <laughs> Pretty funny. Right, he's dead. And now we're going to kill this guy as well. There we go. Right, good. Uh, we'll grab the key. So that's the entrance of the zone, guys. That's where we started off. That's the oracle just through that doorway there and the save file. Oh, my uh, screensaver just turned on on my computer. Kill this guy as well, I guess, because we accidentally woke him up. Now, we could go back and save here. But, uh, should we go back and save? Uh, yeah, I think... Ooh, I don't want to go down there, though. I think we are, because... Oh, no, no, we got some more fire element. No, 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 I'm going to save. I'm going to save. Always save, honestly, because I would really regret it if I didn't. Again. Because we would go right back. If I don't save now and I die, I'm going to go right back to when I was showing you guys that, like, power or that green thing on the other side of that wall. So here we go. I'm going to hit this pad. Save, a la save. I can't believe I thought all of these videos would be 20 minutes long and they've pretty much all been 30. I think maybe the previous one, if I hadn't got lost in the maze, I would have accurately predicted how long it takes to get to get, like complete. There's a ruby up there, but screw it, I can't be bothered to get it. Uh, but all the rest are just like much longer than I thought. Anyway, we will we will reach it. So there's the teleporter, and as you've noticed, we still haven't found the second silver teleporter to the other end of this zone yet. Pretty cool. Um, but we will soon enough. So this is uh, over there is the second save point, right? Which is where I was just talking about. Over here is the gems that I was talking about in the obsidian. We're actually going to drop down here because this is actually where we want to be. Uh, and it's kind of a tricky jump here. You can actually no! The enemies are going to respawn. No! Press the A button to. All right, here we go. We're back. There's like loads of blaze sentinels here and stuff now. That really sucks. So I'm just going to go with a regular jump. It's because the camera is so obscured there. There we go. Regular jump. Up over here. Fire elementals, but we've got the gems, so it's fine. Going to climb up. We might land on the obsidian platform. We might land somewhere else. Oh, no. We didn't land anywhere. That was ridiculous. Go up, go up, go up. It's because I'm scared of the enemies. Right. There we go. Okay, so we're back up here. Last time we went down there through that section of the electric forest, which we now no longer need to do. So instead we're going to go this way. Um, and this is where we're going to find the first key holder. So we've got two keys at the moment, remember. Uh, we haven't spent either of them. This is where the first one goes in. And I don't know whether it was just luck, but my first time playing this game, um, I came to this area before everywhere else. So, like, there's so many places to go. But I first came here, first saw this door, and first saw that I needed a key. I don't know, maybe it's just designed that way to be enticing like that, but... I guess the more reasonable thing is to go to the second save point, walk into that room with the floating electrical platforms, jump across and sort of do that progression, which is going to get you your first key. Anyway, we'll press X. And that actually releases that, uh, that actually creates an electrical connection which closes that door down. There is another little area over here, which I'll just show to you guys. Um, and th there's nothing here except a single um, gemstone, which we can collect. Oh, I hate it when they stood next to doors like that. There's walls like that, sorry. There's a single gemstone, a diamond, uh, and it's protected by three enemies. And a freaking uh, fire drake. Oh, can we kill this drake? Oh, we can. That's amazing. Wow. They're so hard to catch, usually. there's, there's almost, I, Last time I was talking about those, I said, basically, you can't kill them. like Because it's so difficult to catch them. There's almost no point putting any effort into doing it. But wow, we actually managed to get it. So we'll kill this guy as well. You know, just for what I'm... The whole point of this area is kind of stupid because there is so little to see, but hey. <laughs> we'll uh, kill this guy. Oh my god, come on. I'm, I, I think it's half that I'm not amazing at the combat and also half that the combat's just kind of clunky and one of the worst things about the game. So, here we actually get a, a site. Oh no, this isn't even what I was looking at. This is just uh, maybe if you'd seen the diamond and you thought, oh, I wanted that. Here's how you, how you get it. It's not even the vista that I was, thought it was going to be. Just a weird little area that I probably should have skipped. Anyway, we're going to come through this doorway. Oh, we just unlocked. More electric forest stuff. I actually don't 100% remember. I think it's just quite linear. We just walk in a direction now. Uh, yeah, there's a lava elemental here. Ah, this is the jump. So do you remember I was saying that there's, um, like a, a, a long section of this level that you can do, lots of enemies to fight, as you can see that I'm doing right now? All of them, none of these enemies we have the, the power to deal with. Like, we don't have that weakness available to us, so they're all really frustrating. And it's not super early game, it's not like we're dealing with sleuths on the beach anymore. It's all, like, later stuff. As you can see, that fire elemental is moving in a really irritating way. And that's quite smart. I'm going to put on my ice shield. Just 
just so that you can't do so much damage to me. Oh, that's not even my shield, that's just my wings, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying because there's a lot of enemies and stuff. To platform nicely in this game, you really need to deal with the enemies. And then they ask you to do this jump here, which is just terrifying. But grab the key. We're actually now looking at a totally different area. That, that, that thing in front of us is the wall I was showing you guys earlier. And look at that on that platform. Look, there's our next power! It's right there, we can see it. And even, you can see if you look around, uh, there is a way to see it, I'll show you it later. But over there as well, look, that's the water realm. Remember what the oracle told us at the start of this zone, find the water realm. There it is, and you can even see some structures in the water realm over there, it's great. So, uh, how do we get over there? What, what are we doing? Well, we could just got another key, so, again, we've got two keys now. We've only found, this is our third key in total in this zone, and now we've got friggin' two more of them again. So... What are we going to do? We're going to jump on top of this. And I should have had my air power. No! Press the A button to continue your... As ever, you die doing something and it only takes you a couple of seconds to get back. So I'm not going to actually kill these enemies. I'm just going to try and get the timing right on this platform. So I'm going to run along like this. And there we go. How did I mess that up? Oh my god. Okay, well, hello everyone. Also that root... Uh, okay, never mind, never mind. It, basically, I was gonna do this thing where I picked up a ruby that we'd missed, and then I was gonna edit it in, but then I missed it after I died again, so... Never mind, never mind. So now that we're here, we've got two keys again. Uh, we're basically... Do you see how I mean this is a bit more linear? I don't know whether you guys were literally enjoying this, this realm as much as the other ones. Um, because I, I, I don't know whether I enjoy it much to the other ones. Like, the other ones are much more open and... Uh, I, I don't know, more visually engaging a lot of the time, I feel like, because this is just a lot of very dark, lavery areas. I mean, if you like the fiery kind of aesthetic in games, and you like, because this feels like much more of a dungeon crawly kind of section, and if you kind of, res if that kind of stuff you really appreciate, then yeah, maybe you'd be enjoying this section, but I don't know personally how much I am. Um, like, it's fun, for sure, but it's not exactly what the, uh, the game's best got, I suppose. But anyway, we're going to hit this key, and that, that, that's the room we were in earlier? Um, so we jump back down, and we're actually very close to it, so again, we're back on this save pa platform, do you see how, uh, what I mean, how we're kind of looping back around to these areas in the same kind of way? Did I miss an obsidian back there? I don't think I did, no, because we got the one on the higher platform. So what we're going to do is jump onto this, and now that they're all in unison moving up and down, they actually get maximum height on the far side of the room as well as minimum height. And you can jump over onto this platform. It looks like a dodgy jump, but it's actually a really sturdy jump, in my opinion. I've never failed that. Uh, which will allow us to open the door on the left, which is what I pointed out earlier. This jump's annoying, going to the door on the left. Because you can't... If you jump early, you're going to land on top of that ridge. And from on top of the ridge, you, you can't, like, drop down without dying. Because you don't have enough, like, full time to correct where you're landing. Uh, and if you jump while it's going up, it's just difficult. I died there so many times on my test file earlier. So many times, I'm not even going to bar it up. So, we're now in another kind of unique-ish looking area. I'm going to follow this ridge around the side. But again, it's all quite compact, you know. Like, this map isn't necessarily that big, it's just all quite compact. So anyway, we're going to get our lightning element and kill this guy nice and quickly. Uh, so as I say, like well, even with their weakness, they take two full combos. Once we become a more power, well, you know, once we get better elements, then we'll kill them quicker. Uh, but hey, I'll take um, catalysts over these fire elements, which take three full combos still, and wait for him to come at me again because I just broke aggro on the uh, lava elemental. And he sometimes enemies will knock you back. And that knocks you in the air, and because you're in the air, the game therefore decides that you're going to do the jump slam attack. And then it automatically stuns them, and that's not what you wanted to do. Anyway, we'll hit the final key in here. So there we go, that's all of the keys spent now. And uh, that, again, do you remember that area where I said that there was a platform that would eventually be moving a lot? But for now, it was just going to take us to one small area. That's going to activate that. So again, we're going to loop back down again into an area we were before. And this time we're going to take the high... Well, we took the higher path the last time, anyway. We're going to come over here. We're going to kill this blaze sentinel. And again, if I hadn't died, this would all be smooth sailing. All these guys would already be dead. But as it stands, you've got to kill them twice. So there we go. He's down. Give us a bit of health. And uh, I'm going to wait with that because obviously I was a little bit late there. And if I tried to jump it, it probably would have gone up before I'd managed to get on it. So there we go. So now, instead of just hopping across, we're going to stand on it and let it take us all the way up. I'm going to zoom the camera in and we're going to jump out here. And now we are truly in a new area. Um, we've basically just unlocked access to a whole new region. If I angle this right, I could just knock him down the hole. But hey, whatever, I wanted the health anyway. 92 rubies. 93 rubies. 
We've almost got it. Uh, there's some more Earth guys there. And we're actually very close to our next power. And probably the conclusion of this episode. And we'll just knock him in the hole, hopefully. Ah, oh, freaking fire drakes. Should put on that, shouldn't I? Just so that they don't do any damage to me. Go away. These guys are really annoying when you're walking along these precarious like platforms like this. The big globe here to replenish all of our elements. And the game is really going to open up now, guys. Remember when we got our air element? It gave us like loads of stuff. It gave us wings. It gave us electric attacks. It gave us an electric shield. And it gave us an ice shield. Just because we now had three different combinations, three different things we could do, right? We're now going to get a fourth power. That's going to explode everything open. We're going to be able to use the fourth power with water on its own, with air on its own, with fire on its own. Then we're going to be able to use... Air, water, and the fourth power. Air, fire, and the fourth power. We're going to be able to use all four of them together. And each is a distinct ability. Like, it really opens the game up massively. Now, if you head forward, you're going to find the second silver teleporter, which is not what I want to concern myself with right now. Move past this electric tree and circle your way around to the top to get, and I've avoided saying this stupidly so, I should have just been completely open with you guys, it's pretty obvious what it's going to be anyway, what did I say, that in Azuric basically, your match, because I can't get my full combos here, he's taking longer to kill than he should what did I say, and enemies run away from you as well in this game, like sometimes the AI is pretty good you are basically an elementalist you get water attunement, fire attunement air attunement cough attunement, and earth attunement alright a new power Okay, so, um, this is big. There's a lot of stuff we can now do. Uh, and instead of just, like, you know, blowing your mind with a crash course saying, like, a bazillion different things, I'm just going to take it easy, okay? So this rock is asking for earth and air. So we can use earth and air. This is known as the whirlwind power. What happens when you combine air with, you know, the ground? Then it's sort of tornado-y, right? I guess. And I think that makes perfect sense. So that's what that is. Um, that's useful for many different things. I uh, like the tornado power, pretty cool. Um, but it's not going to be useful to us all, all too soon, but it's an interesting power. Earth on its own, I'll demo to you guys. This is a generic shield, which isn't going to help us at all here. Earth is a generic shield for us that will help just uniformly against many different elements. It's not as good against fire as uh, an ice shield would be, but it's useful, okay? Uh, we now also have... Oh, man, there's so much for me to show you, but the video is so long. So what I'm going to do instead, instead of going through all these powers, that's going to be uh, a cliffhanger for next episode. Instead, what we're going to do, guys, is head over here to go back to the water realm. Now that we've got our earth power, we can get through these green doors. What would that be? Well, let's kill this catalyst first so that we've got some time. Now, what we're basically trying to do here is dissolve rock. And it's a green icon. The answer to this is that it's the acid power. How would you make acid? Look at the elements. How would you make acid? Well, earth, kind of acidic, poisony, and water, right? That makes sense. And indeed, that's the acid power. That will charge our axiom with acid. And we can melt the rock. So there we go. And where are we? Oh, we're here. Oh, my God, guys, we're here. Wow. See? See? That was a good reason for showing you guys this. The other side of the rock. There you go. This will take us to the stormy water realm. Back through the pipe. Voila. We're definitely not done with the fire realm. There's one more thing to do there. Uh, a disc fragment, which is going to be featured next episode. And don't worry. If you haven't been enjoying the fire realm too much, just because it all looks very samey. No, no, no. I don't want to go in the pipe. Ah. Okay, fine. If you've, if you've not been enjoying the fire realm because it all looks kind of samey, there's some really cool areas to do with this big gorge. We're going to be ziplining between the two waterfalls and everything. It's going to be absolutely amazing. So anyway, I'll see you guys then. Thank you very much for watching. I'm just going to hit the save point in the stormy world, and I will see you next time. Have a wonderful day, guys.